Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. Thanks, stranger. I sh Thanks, stranger. Thanks for the help. I plan on going back to the farm shortly. Since you're asking me, I suppose I could. I figure I still owe you for helping me with my thief problem. Zeron has asked me several times before to join the militia. I expect he's going to be very pleased. Charanana Gundoso. Charanana Gundoso, Remina Kelrak to Kuru Katpada. Kerator Pada no Ringatel Kamarada Telefibu Nubu de Karana Chenigara. Terewana Jun Konata de la Raguna Tuna. Dai Rinto Runka Rekare Papanala Ranchinga. Terace. Dai Rinto Runto Wakare Kue Wakerebu. Ninso Telepachan Korsada Ranane. Grail Gra, Dalunuta Choloren. Terewana Jun Konata de la Raguna Tuna. 
Dai rin to run ka wara kare papa nala ran shinka. Tera cha wa mino to to re re. Dai rin to run to wakare ko e wap gare bu. Ninso tele pachan ko sadara nane gra gra da no tere wana jun konata tele ra guno tuna. Dai rin to run ka wara kare papa nala ran shinka. Tera cha wa mino to to re. Dai rin to run to wakare ko e wap gare bu. Ninso tele pachan ko sadara nane gra gra da no. Charanana Gundo Charanana Gundo so Remina Kilra Katada Kelator Pada no Ringatel Camarada Telefibu Nubu de Vicarana Chenirara Charanana Gundo Together at Malakor, I don't know if anyone else could understand. You getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos, and I decided to come along for the ride. Not that I had much choice after we got going. Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed around by Zerka, I thought I could make a difference, but it was taken away from me. Guess if one planet was good enough for me, why not the galaxy? You just have to know what the circuits look like. That's the way I see things. Traveling with you, I know there's something else in the universe. I can't do anything about it anyways, so I'll leave it to you to take care of. They might not call you a Jedi anymore, but believe me, you are. It's not the sort of thing that you just stop being. You're stuck with it, just like you're stuck being the General. Was there something you wanted me for? Yes, General? to provide you with anything I was right about you the mercenaries aren't when you're ready come back you heard what the administrator said each of us has to do what they can to aid in the defense of Kunda see where you can lend a hand we'll have time to talk more when this is all over you require anything else Scenarios are That's good to hear. Fill me in on the details when you're ready to finalize our battle plans. A 
I'm sure Terena will be more than happy to pay you once the mercenary threat is resolved. You sure? Once we're done. All right. Then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to resist if they succeed. Not that the settlers aren't good people. Many folk just don't have the fighting mentality. I'd rather just make people happy and get along. But there isn't any getting along with Asgore. He's out for blood and taking the place over. So we gotta protect the administrator. Kunda can go on without me, but not without her. The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us and Kunda's defenses. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. But well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not much for words. All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. Scenarios. If we fall here, all of Dan Twain falls with us. So you're the Jedi. I take it you are responsible for the surprises we've had during this battle. Stand aside. Our quarrel is with a distinguished administrator. This isn't your problem. Is that supposed to convince me, Jedi? I was trained by the Sith. My unit killed many Jedi. I'll give you one last chance. Leave the administrator to her fate. you've allied with these flaming settlers. The galaxy doesn't tolerate weakness. I was trained at Malak's Academy. Your tricks won't work on me. You're just another dead Jedi to me. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. You can be 
sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this trap. I'm sorry to offend you. You are, of course, our savior, and I am very grateful to you. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this... It's certainly... Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about... We were not in hiding, despite what you believe. This threat is striking through the Force. There's a reason that we cannot detect it. It is somehow masking its presence from us. I do not know. There are techniques in the Force that hide one's presence and thoughts from other Force users. But I do not believe that such... Jedi sanctuaries, places of learning, conclaves, many of them secret have been attacked. That requires that our enemy knew of our whereabouts, or had access to records and holocrons from the Enclave here on Dantooine. There was much Jedi teaching buried here before the planet was attacked. In the hands of our enemies, such knowledge could be used to track and kill Jedi, find other enclaves, gathering places. And so much has been plundered from here that now many secrets of the Jedi have been spread throughout the galaxy. So I did what I could, attempting to let myself be captured. I hoped that it would lead me to the Sith and the stolen artifacts. The Sith attacked this place once. And only they would seek the death of the Jedi with such obsession, and be able to be as successful as they have. With the destruction of Dantooine, it is difficult to sense the presence of any Force users here. If any Sith are here, I cannot detect them. Yes, perhaps I wish to see this place one more time. It has changed much, as I knew it had, but I had to see it for myself. Do you have more questions for me? There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot. We have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them. By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. Do you have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. 
Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. You have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant. So still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you that will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. When you are facing a long campaign, you need to be more conservative with how you use your force energy. This form gives you increased force affinity. In simple terms, it helps you to quickly regenerate force energy in the middle of a fight. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine.
That was some intense fighting. I'm glad we both made it through. The mercenaries didn't. You know, I noticed a glow before, but now, now it's bright around you. You've come a long way since Paragus, and despite all we've been through, you seem a lot better for it. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, I just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. Alright, what did you- My life for your- Charanana Gundoso Reminer. It, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters.
It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. Yes, General. You have befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. If you take her on as a servant, know that the Sith meet their end at the hands of their apprentices. It is not something I would wish to happen to you. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty.
Perhaps. I am not convinced. Did he? And what do you make of that? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone, vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. I fear you are right. And I fear it may prove more than that. War is a hunger. And there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully. She may reveal more. Something up. All right. What? Hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place. For those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Korriban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. 
The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Fool! You've disturbed the spirits of this place and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these hisses as th Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. 
Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protect its secrets. Something wrong. That is hardly a surprise. Listen. The wind from the cave tells of great power within. Recently awakened. The valley we just came from was full of dark energy. But this cave is darker still. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. For your... I will answer what I can. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great, and it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force, more presence than flesh. And in his wake, Life dies, sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of they succeeded, and my people died.
listening. Something How you need I of serve? me? I am listening. through the force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. I will answer what I can. My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi. And their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you. And it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. Yes? Is something... That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? Not much remains of the Jedi. I'm trying to find what little does remain. 
There are so many histories, relics, holocrons that speak of their teachings and their code. I fear that unless someone makes an effort to find and keep them, they will be lost forever. Because I fear that unless the Jedi teachings are preserved, we will lose the galaxy. And because, whatever my feelings for the Order, they do not extend to preserving their knowledge. The power I felt coming through the cave is just ahead. I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. The Dark Side. This is survival. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? You should trust in yourself and in your instincts. It was within our power to end the war, and the Council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Yes, that's right. Without us, the Republic would have been no more. And the Council? Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action. And that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the Dark Side. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different? Knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Rev... And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. She didn't join us that day. But in time, she came to our way of thinking. And even before then, she wavered and wondered what would have happened. It is a familiar path. There were those who wished to follow you to war, yet remain behind. They came to hate you for the choices they wish to make. Are you?
you so certain? Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you, but the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side.
Tom says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. don't have enough men to accomplish our objective, no matter how important. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? We will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Thank you, General. Thank you. <laughs> 